Aber ja, ich bin Nicola. Ähm, für was? Ja, schon die Version selber zu sehen. Weil, ja. Ähm, ähm, ja, im Text geht um ähm, Mobbing. Und ähm, also das ist der Perspektive von äh, nicht den, den gemobbt wird, mit dem den gemobbt wird. Eigentlich. Und das ist so also viel you all know. Und wen du rüber. No thanks. Okay. Check. Okay. Um, I wish I would tell you this face to face, but we both went on such separate ways that it's unlikely we'll ever see us again. And I don't like the idea that there's no happy end. This has to be done, whether said or read. This has to get off of my and your chest. This heaviness and shortness of breath that join me slowly in my own bed has kept me awake all of last night while my brain showed me things that I did not like. It brought me back to primary school where the youth runs where cool meets cruel, where there is no evil if there is no rule. I thought I knew how things could unfold from, and his stories untold. Although we both were so much akin, she had friends and enjoyed the same things, I wanted to be the opposite of him, so I became bully instead of victim. I hated all girls, and they hated you too. That meant nothing would happen if something happened to you. They said behind your back what I told to your face. You're fat, ugly, dumb, and you're always late. What I want to tell you can no longer wait. I made fun of you because of your shape. But you gained weight because I made fun of you. And my great hate did not fade. No, it grew. I couldn't bear looking at myself most of the time. So to pretend you were ugly seemed fine. As to why I thought to know you were dumb is cause I moron thought great man was dumb. You weren't that good at school. So what? How were you supposed to know what was up when your parents couldn't help you with the subjects taught? They came to this place for the sake of their kid and had to learn the same things you also did. All of these languages foreign to you, all of this work and no one to turn to. Why listen to a teacher who thinks her failing's your fault? Why listen at all if all you hear are insults? She yells at you because you were late until everyone sees the tears on your face and she says she wants to speak to your parents but whatever the tongue there's nothing to fathom when you reason with someone with none of it left who reasons in violence and thinks it's for the best and as I sat by watching you being chastised the ever same question came up in my mind the ever ever same question behind all of our deaths and all of our lives Every failed try and every, fa every told lie, the title of all news that make you want to cry. Why? I suppose I more or less get it now. You were just different and you know somehow that's enough of an excuse for someone to say something at some point that is not okay. So that's what we're doing. Let me show you how it's done. It's easy to outdo the worst of first ones. The first one I looked up to, looked up to someone else. Who looked up to someone else, who looked up to someone else. Who looked up to someone else, who looked up to someone else. So they never figured out who they were themselves. And each of them looked down on the one lower. If you were less cool, then why the hell bother? See, I try to be cool, but I plainly failed. Because in that trying, I was not myself. But in your non-trying, in you being you, in you not conforming, although you ridiculed, you were the ultimate cool. And the thing is, I was different too. And you were all about having foreign traits. But my difference was that I was afraid. To fear was one of my guidelines from home. Fe fights and disputes were a routine of their own. I just want to say that I'm sorry for what I did. I recognize the pattern and push to its extreme. If it, if it was cool to be bad, then I would be mean. I recognize the pattern and push to its extreme. If it was